Hey guys, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We've got Mark here, Steve is here. We're gonna to talk to you about a very cool tip in Final Cut Pro. Steve, why don't you just take it away because I like what you got going on here. Well, this is a result of something that I've noticed is in the, the Creative Cloud apps in Adobe Suite. And they have this feature that they introduced with Premiere, actually the whole suite called um, a libraries pane. It's this idea of your content anywhere, mm -hmm. where let's say you start designing something in Photoshop, you can drop it in a little box and then it shows up in Premiere. You're in After Effects, you need a graphic, you drop it into a box, it shows up you know, in right. Premiere. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, is I, I got to thinking, there's a way to do this in, in Final Cut as well. And uh, it's, right. it's pretty slick. All right, let's and, see it. Uh, let's, um, let's take a look at what I have set up here. So here I'm in Dropbox and I've created three folders. I've created a graphics folder and I've got a graphic in it. I have a folder called a sound Bible and I've downloaded some free effects from the, this website called Sound Bible, a lot of free sound effects up there. Uh -huh. And I have a folder called template stingers. These are little pieces of music that I use for our motion graphics, for our intros, for our tutorials, what have you. Okay, and all this stuff you've got on Dropbox. All, and the reason I have it on Dropbox is because any of my team can add to it any time. And mm -hmm. that's the important thing. It syncs across all the devices. Okay, all so devices you, and all people. That's right. Now, you can have this on a server. It doesn't matter. I'm using Dropbox because it's available to everyone. And yeah. that's, that's the important part. Okay. So, so now, when I go back to when I'm into Final Cut, I have these browsers. Now, this effects browser, you'll notice it's kind of hard-coded with the effects. You can't add any content to it. Uh, same with uh, generators and titles. And, yeah, that's all the ships, yeah, these, that's ships with Final Cut. Right, exactly, ships with Final Cut. But there are two categories that you can add your own content to. Yep. And in particular, you can add content to the sound browser, excuse me, the photos browser and the sound browser. Okay. So what I want to do is add content to the sound browser, sound music browser. Now, in order to do this, you'll notice I have a pop-up here where I can see all my sound effects, my iLife sound effects. A lot of times, you know, I don't, you know, these are limited. I don't have a, a lot of choice here for, for my sound effects. I want to expand and mm -hmm. add to the sound effects with, library, with okay. my own. So in order to do this, you need to put your mouse right here on this dividing line and pull down. down. You, yeah. Otherwise, you're not, you're not going to see yeah. that area. See? Yep. So then I'm going to tab out to the finder. And I'm going to grab this folder called Sound Bible. And I'm just going to drag it right into that window. Nice. As soon as I do that, it adds a item called folders, and inside there are all my sound bites from. And it's not from, copying anything; it's, it's just linking to that just location. Just linking to them, it's exactly. Mm -hmm. So what's really great here is I, I can we can preview we can preview them all by just double clicking, okay? And I can listen to them. That's a shower scene, and in this scene that I'm working on, uh, this he's in the bathroom at the very end. It'd be really nice to have like you know kind of running shower. So I'm just gonna just click that and just you know, drag it in here and just add that effect right from the browser. And so now I've nice. got, I got this nice, uh, you know, sound effect okay. going in. It works great. Okay. Now, with regard to motion projects, I'm going to swap out the projects for a moment and go to this, um, this clip in this motion graphics project. And here I have a very typical, you know, opening animation. Mm -hmm. And this was created in motion. And some of you may or may not know that when you share content to Final Cut vis-a-vis -vis their share, their export menu or the share menu, not the share menu, but the uh, save menu, you can publish to Motion, but it doesn't publish the music. Publish to Final Cut. Fun yes, exactly. So, so you can publish titles, transitions, generators from Motion to Final Cut, and they'll show up in Final Cut, but the music doesn't go with with them. That's yes. right. But yes. here's my, here's, that's right. So here's, <laughs> here's my answer to that. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the finder and notice I have a folder called template stingers. Mm. I'm just going to grab that and then drag that right into the sound See browser. Okay. So now I have a folder of all my template stingers. So if I want to use, this is, I think it's this one right here. I'll just mm -hmm. drag this out. Or press Q. Yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, move the playhead here. It's where I want it, select the item, and just press Q. And now I have my stinger. Nice. So all of my stingers that I need from my published yeah. motion projects now ha I have in a folder. And now you could have imported those into a library, an event in a library, but then you always have to have that library open. But this way, no matter what libraries you have open, all of that content's always available to you. Yes, and it gets one oh. step better than that. And that 
I want to show you this. This is really, really cool. So here we are back in Final Cut, and I built this little motion graphic with this little guy, this Mr. Magic guy in the uh -huh. background. And uh, if I select the top clip and press V, you can see him. it's a separate okay. layer. So it's a little layer with an alpha channel on top of an animated generator. Yep, animated mm -hmm. generator. And let's let's replace that. And I want to have a library of graphics at my fingertips that I can replace it with. Okay. And so I'm going to jump back out to the Finder. And here's my folder called Graphics. And I'm just going to drag this into the Photos browser. Okay, directly right, into that right, little pane right above Right top. there. Now you can see I only have one graphic there, but yes. here's the cool part I was uh -huh. referring to. I'm going to jump back out to the Finder. And here I have a graphic. Let's say one of my guys created this graphic for yeah. me. And uh, hey, hey, you know, text me or whatever, say, hey, this graphic's ready. I'm just going to drag that right into the graphics folder. Right in the Dropbox on that folder. Okay. Right there, boom, uh -huh. there it is. Jump back to Final Cut. Give it a second, and look, the it graphic just shows, just shows up right there in my Photos browser. That is really cool. So basically live updates with any content that anybody in your team adds to that essentially shared folder. Yeah. So now you would do a replace edit or yeah. something? Yeah, to... just do a replace it. Just drag that out there, drop that on there, and I'll just say uh, replace. And oops, okay. I should have done a replace from start. The e Equalite. I should have done replace from start so I can keep the duration of that clip. And there it is, replaced. Wow. So you can imagine an entire library of graphics yeah. they can draw from that are continually being added to. And in a team environment, other folks can add content there that you can immediately grab and you're never worried about what library or what event that it's in. That's right. It's all directly available to you. Very nice. Yeah. Very, it's a, very it's nice. a fun tip, and uh, I think it's very cool. So, and you could throw video clips in there, I suppose, as well. No. No. Oh, specific to graphics. Okay. Specific to graphics, okay. sound specific to audio. Okay. Audio I've, already and graphics. I've already tried that, and okay. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm sure people are asking that. Yeah. If you need video, you're going to need to publish from Motion and publish okay. as a generator or what have or you. Or have a, have a library of stock video. Yeah. But you could take all of your stock graphic elements, all of your stock audio elements, and throw them in the sound browser and throw them in the photos browser and have them available all the time. There they are. Nice. Very good tips. Great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, RippleTraining.com for all of this training, as you know, Facebook, Twitter, all the good stuff. You see all the stuff to follow us below. Thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio.